Hello everyone. In today's short video, I want to give you a glimpse into what you can expect with the Quanser Virtual Labs uh, offering within Quanser, the Q Labs, Quanser Interactive Labs um, subscription service. What you see here on the right hand side is what you can expect with any Quanser Virtual product, be it uh, our, our Quanser Aero, Quanser, um, uh, Quanser Cube. Uh, Quanser Arm and so on, all of the, the products that we will be virtualizing will be presented in this type of environment. And really our goal with all Quanser Virtual Labs and virtual products is to make sure that they represent as best to, uh, as best as possible the physical product that, the, that has been digitized. So for all intents and purposes, this is simply a Quanser physical product brought to you in a digital form. Um, and, and that's what you can expect all the, the software workflows to, to behave in the same way. On the left hand side here, this is one of our shipping examples. In this case, a, a two independent PID loops controlling the two independent or the two coupled um, axes of the arrow. So I'm just going to go ahead and press play. And what this is going to do is this is my control system over here. And you can see uh, the performance on both axes on the bottom. Um, I'm, commanding the pitch to go up and down with step inputs of plus and minus 30 degrees while attempting to maintain the yaw. Uh, and you can see this is one of the, um, this is the expected behavior actually. And this is how the, the physical arrow would behave when applying to independent uh, PID loops on a highly coupled dynamic system. So this is a lot of cross coupling, a lot of, uh, you know, um, one, one uh, disturbing the other, one axis disturbing the other. And that's where something like a model-based design or modern control really comes in. So I will just stop that model and I will simply open up another model that we provide as part of the, uh, as part of our content around the Quantor Arrow. And this one is a very similar controller um, in, in terms of structure except now we're using the full state feedback of the system, that uh, signal over there. And based on the model, so a model-based design approach, we have used LQR as an optimal, uh, as an optimal algorithm to control the optimal gains, the state feedback gains K, that will uh, take into account the cross-coupling in this system and uh, compensate for them while trying to minimize their effect on one another. And so you can see it's considerably better performance. Uh, my yaw is, uh, you know, it's still being disturbed, but, and, and, and coupled, um, not to the same degree. And the control on this axis is a lot better than it was before. So this just gives you a very quick glimpse over what you can expect with all things Quanser Virtual Labs. Um, the Quanser Arrow really demonstrates well, uh, you know, for something a bit more involved, like modern control, state feedback, and so on. But this is the expectation and the workflow for all things uh, uh, virtual and Quanser Virtual Labs. You can expect to come down the path. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.